grant hood rising y'all um, trap witch here I wanted to do a video for you guys for the solar eclipse for Monday August 21st which is coming up within a few days and I wanted to do the video um, before the weekend so that we can allow things to settle in we can allow this to be on our head as we don't get caught up in everything that's going to be going on and unfolding and for this shift I need you to be aware that the news right now is not your friend they are trying to scare you they're trying to have you act out of fear out of anger out of the place of trauma that we are currently moving away from in this shift, okay? We are currently moving into a higher vibration of love. We are leaving the dimension we are on and we are elevating many of us. Many of us are ascending and those of us who are ascending are at risk of being pulled into the matrix that we are trying to leave. The lower vibrational energies are trying to keep us from growing, from progressing, from moving forward, from moving away from a place of hate and a place of trauma and a place of emotional triggers and moving into a place of unconditional love. Okay? So with this being said, also I want to put this out there. Don't believe any of this shit that you need to watch. You have to have glasses to watch this eclipse and stuff like that. It's nature, okay? It's nature. <laughs> um, and we have to stop allowing things that are outside of nature to scare us and to manipulate us into fear. Things that are man-made. And a lot of the fear that they are trying to instill into us is man-made. It is for a ritual of wickedness to feed the wicked. And that's not the vibration we are on. We are leaving mental slavery. We are in exodus. We are leaving that shit behind. And we are moving into a new vibration of unconditional love. This is the year of Oshun. The oration of love, luxury, in conjunction with St. Lazarus, who is the saint of healing a lot of people are healing themselves this year and stepping into true unconditional love for themselves and for other people and with that being said we can't let one monkey stop the show and that monkey is the wicked that's mad and that's taking their shit and trying to throw it at us okay we won't have that Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a poll for the solar eclipse and the new moon in Leo. The sun is going to be in Leo. The eclipse is going to be in Leo. <laughs> you know, the new moon. Um, a lot of Leo energy rising to the occasion, becoming the king of the jungle. We are rising into a sense of newfound power. And what I want to do is give you guidance and advice to help you cultivate what it is you need going forward and what you need to keep in mind, what spirit has for you to keep in mind going forward on this journey towards unconditional love, okay? So I'm gonna pull five tarot cards one angel card and one oracle card from the witchery way deck so if we will let us get started okay. spirit we call you in on behalf of the collective we ask for the highest good of all those involved with harm to none Spirit, we come to you for guidance. We come to you for clarity. We come to you for messages beyond what we can see to our blind eye 
in this third dimension. We call upon your assistance to guide us in this shift, a shift towards unconditional love, a shift towards healing, a shift of release of karmic debt that we need to heal away from. I ask that Elewa open the roads to clear messages. I ask that only benevolence speak through these cards. I ask for the assistance of my Egun and any spirit of high ranks of benevolence to assist us. I especially call in the energy of Archangel Michael for protection as he was the leader in the army of God. And we are needing to release cords and energetic cords of negativity that wish to hold us back to these lower vibrations. We ask the Arch Archangel Michael, cut these cords of negativity that hinder us and he make the way in leading us forward in this battle. I call in Oshun, the Orisha of love, the finest, sweetest things in life, my mother. I ask for guidance in helping us move forward. What message can you give to the collective for this solar eclipse? New moon in Leo, sun in Leo, Monday, August. 21st, Straightforward, y'all. Okay. First card I pulled Dumbala La Flambeau reversed. This is the rising of the Kundalini energy. Kundalini energy is the divine serpent energy that is within you masculine and feminine that intertwine two snakes that rise when all of your chakras are clear and you are in alignment you are in alignment to ascend to transcend to come into your god power many people who are getting left behind on this journey into unconditional love are because they will not allow the blockages that hinder them in these chakras to be released, mainly of the heart. They cannot remove the blockage, the heaviness on their heart that hinders them from coming into knowing the love of God and being the love of God. Because to know love is to be love. And many people are not going to rise into this. They are not going to make it. And this shift is going to set people up for the next couple years to come. This is a life-changing shift. And if you have any blockages, whether it be your crown, whether it be your heart, whether it be your throat, whatever kind of blockages you have, and I'm speaking mainly from the heart because we are shifting into love, let it go. Get the heaviness off of your heart. Know what love is by continuing to move towards being it. Any hatred, anything that is not of pure unconditional love is about to get dragged. And I need you to understand that. Right now, they are fueling hatred and anger and fear, these racial tensions, the Ku Klux Klan, police brutality, because we are almost there. They want you to not ascend. 
They want you to get dragged. They want you to be sucked in. The ark is here. The rain is coming. And we are setting off every animal, two and two, whatever, to a brand new existence. And many people are going to get left off the ark because they were stubborn. Many people are getting the indication right now that it's time to make a change and they won't let go of what hinders them. They won't let go and open their arms to receive unconditional love because right now the universe is presenting you the opportunity to rise, but many of you don't want to. You don't feel like you're up for it. You don't want to release those blockages. Why not? Don't you want to know what power is? Don't you want this card to be upright? Don't you want to rise into glory? These are, these are flames of glory. Ascension. Divine serpent energy. I need you to understand this, right? Ask yourself this. Every other religion except for Christianity represents the snakes as sacred, okay? In the Garden of Eden... Adam and Eve lived in ignorant bliss, right? God said, you can live in paradise, but you can't eat from the tree of knowledge, right? You can't eat from it. So they can choose to remain ignorant in bliss, but have no knowledge. No knowledge of self, no knowledge of anything, right? That's kind of like what people are in now at times. They're kind of like in an ignorant... Um, they're in an ignorant bliss where it's mind over matter. They don't mind. It doesn't matter because a lot of them don't use this. They don't use their minds. So ask yourself this, the snake and Adam and Eve. He said, eat. Eat from the tree of knowledge. Right? And they ate. And then God cast them into exile. But then he gave them the power of free will to choose. They gave them, he gave them knowledge. He gave them consciousness. Why is it that the snake represented consciousness? Because they made the conscious decision to eat and then therefore afterwards were responsible for every conscious decision they chose to make. Kundalini energy. Your shockers become blocked based on the decisions you choose to make. If you choose not to speak up, that throat is blocked. If you choose not to love, your heart is blocked. If you choose to act out of fear, your root is blocked, your sense of security is blocked. So ask yourself, why are you blocking yourself from your own consciousness? Why are you blocking yourself from knowing the divine serpent that is knowledge? To know that you have the ability to make the choice to ascend, but you won't. Second card is Petro Hugon, okay? That's what it looks like. Saying that you are allowing the fire to consume you, okay? Many of you have passion. And people allow their passions to consume them, right? So look at this. Look at this right now with the, the, the police brutality. All of again, all of a sudden, rearing its ugly head as soon as we're going into the shift. They finally know that people are having a sense of who they are. Especially black people, okay? Rising into consciousness. And what better way to throw somebody off their balance and off their access than to feed them low vibrational food of something that they are passionate about. Something that says, yeah, you love being black. I'm going to throw it in your face. What more reason why we're going to keep you down. And the passion that you have for yourself Although you have a sense of pride, you will allow the hate that you feel for 
who is oppressing you, to consume you. You will let that fire flip you upside down. I'm getting emotional. You will allow the fire to flip you upside down and consume you instead of healing yourself away from the hate. You will put yourself in jeopardy. And I'm telling you right now, do not, whatever happens, don't go out there and march. I saw something that said, you know, you have to understand the Haitian Revolution, okay? The Haitian Revolution, the people of Haiti, they won a war where they were outnumbered. They won a war where they were outweaponed simply because they went and did their own ritual to tap into the power of their ancestors and the God within them. And they overcame their oppression with sheer God and ancestral force. And in order to go forward, we have to tap into our sheer God power and ancestral force to move us. The ancestors are moving people they are working through people. God is working through us healers right now to tell you all to make the change, to shift yourself, to be able to rise into the consciousness that you are God and God is you. And in order to be God, you must be the vibration of God. You must be love and you must become that because love and hate cannot exist in the same room. Eventually one is gonna drive out the other and we have to allow our vibration to be love, to bring us to unity. We cannot let the fire consume us. We cannot let what we fear, what we hate, what we feel that is oppressing us, press on us. Okay? We fight a battle every day between God and the devil in here. Okay? The snake wasn't the devil. The snake was your consciousness. Being able to tap into your consciousness. And I can see how they played that because the devil only comes as a slight suggestion. The devil doesn't have to convince you to do anything. It just says, hey, you see this cup over here? There's some drink in it. I think it's going to be rather refreshing for you. You should try it. And you might think that this is a shady character. Your intuition tells you maybe, no, I shouldn't. But you say, I'm going to drink anyway. And you were handed a cup of poison. But you made that choice. You made that conscious choice to drink from the cup. So the cup that is being presented in front of you, what are you going to do with it if you know that it's poison? Because they keep presenting to you a cup of hate. And they say, drink. Get drunk. Be intoxicated by it. Be consumed by it. So that when you're drunk and you're not in your right mind and you're possessed, and your will has left you, we will allow this to overtake you and crash and burn you upon the flames that you chose. And right now, the next car is Dumbala Wado, which shows a snake in the tree swinging back and forth. And it says many of you have been going back and forth between this because you go one step forward on your healing and then you get pulled back by a trigger. You get pulled back by a trauma. You get pulled back by a trigger. Forward this way? No, I'm going this way. It's back and forth. It's time to stop swinging back and forth. And it's time to make a decision. And what is that decision? That decision is to heal yourself. This is a card of Ogum Balandio. And the prime aspect of this healing is this technology, your mind. Healing your mind, leaving mental slavery, healing your willpower, not being the victim, not being oppressed, not allowing lower vibrational 
energies to cause you trauma because the more you hold on to trauma within yourself it creates disease and that disease slowly spreads to the rest of your body and it kills you slowly and right now this hate that they're trying to implant they know that you're almost healthy and it's like cancer and it's like when you've gone into remission and you're doing so good and it's that one cancerous cell that they didn't get out of you and that's what a trigger is because a trigger is that one cancerous cell that triggers the disease back again like that and we can't have that no disease can be allowed to reside within us at this time we are choosing to heal fully we don't want to be back in this hospital bed at least not for this reason and I told you in earlier videos Mental illness is real on a casual, everyday level more than you believe. It is imbalanced because mental illness is only simply imbalanced. Sadness, depression, a bad mood, that's, that's mental illness. Phobia, all mental illness. Things that hinder the chemistry of your mind. And so what do you do when your chemistry is, is off? You balance it out. In chemistry class, you pour things in in order to make a proper balance, right? But what happens when you put things that negatively don't go together? They concoct into a reaction and they explode. So stop poisoning yourself with things that you know negatively react with your nature. It's time to go back to nature. The nature of self, be in nature. They're telling you to get glasses for this eclipse. Fuck that, it's nature. For what? What do they want to alter? Why do they want to alter your sight? Why do they want to alter your vision? Because they know that you are almost here to ascension. They know that the veil is thinning the veil is almost gone you are seeing things for what they are and you no longer want to live in the illusion of fear anger and hate you want to see the world for what it is which is a vibration of love that we are one that the collective is one that enlightenment is realizing that you the wave are the ocean and we have the ability to affect and impact each other inwardly and then outwardly as one Right now, you need to be listening to some Michael Jackson. You need to be listening to some Bob Marley. You need to be listening to anything that is a vibration of love. Watching things that are love, spreading love. Many are called, few will be chosen. And right now, it's time to rise into love or get dragged. Let go of the hater, be dragged. Because the last card is a Zaka La Flambeau. It's a farmer. It's reverse, farmer with a smoke. And he's, in, he's got two people in embrace in his smoke. This is sacred union. This is sacred union within ourselves, being whole within ourselves, being in balance, being balanced. So that if we are balanced and we can cultivate balance within ourselves, we can spread that to other people. And being in divine balance and reaching full ascension is to be a pure vibration of love, okay? This is what we need to cultivate that we're not cultivating right now. So the angel card and we're going to cultivate if we choose to move in that direction. The angel card that I pulled is clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. This is Archangel Zadkiel. You keep hearing, I want to be loved. I want to be loved. I want to receive love. I deserve love. Why can't I ever find love? But you have to become that vibration. You are deserving. You are worthy. Submit to love. Op the universe is opening its arms to you. All it does is want wants you to open your arms back. It's opening, it's extending its hand, extend your hand back. Okay? The last card I'm going to pull is going to be an oracle card to tie the whole reading together. Okay?
the girl. <laughs> oh, God. New beginnings and friends, okay? Look at this card. The girl. One, three. One and three is four. Have many of you been seeing a lot of fours? Four, 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 four. Four is the number of stability. All this chaos we have endured is setting us up for the stability that we need. It's killing off everything that is low vibrational because this shift that we've been going through has allowed us to see things for what they are and make us aware of what we don't want. And once we can get rid of what we don't want, we can embrace what we want that's going to keep us in balance. And right now, we are shifting into the rise of the matriarchy, the divine feminine. The divine feminine is what is going to see us through. And right now, it is time to bend the knee to the divine feminine because the matriarch is fucking rising. And the matriarch, the divine feminine, is love. It is the womb. It is conceiving and creating everything that you want for your life via love and that frequency. It's a new beginning. It is this divine, it's the divine feminine. And that's the reason Oshun, this is Oshun's year. She is a goddess. She is the epitome of love. She is the walking embodiment of love. And in order for you to be able to submit to a goddess, you have to be one within yourself because a goddess will never accept anything than your whole. She will never allow any weakness. She will sell you to surrender to her to bow down to her, bow down to the goddess and surrender yourself because the divine feminine, the divine feminine is a nurturer, it is a creator. And if you give yourself to her to nurture you, she will create a way. And where there is a will, there is a way. So if you are willing to submit, know that the way is gonna be made for me, for you. You need to be love. You need to submit to the matriarchy, to the divine feminine, to the vibration of love, to conceive what it is that you want, to birth what it is that you want. Because we are now birthing a new beginning. And the friends on here, Steve, speaking of unity, unity, that love is going to bring us together. It's going to bring us stability. Love will sustain you. Love is not easy. It is patient. It is kind. It is enduring. It is everlasting. But it's not, it's not, um, how do I say? We had to go through all of this. We had to go through the period of hate to know what love is. We have to go through the darkness to know what light is. And now that we know what darkness looks like, we don't have to accept it. Yeah? I hope this sits well with you guys. Um, really take this into consideration going into the weekend before Monday comes, okay? Expect a shift. Expect more things to happen, more terrorist attacks, more shootings, more brutality. Expect it. Don't give it your reaction. We don't know what's an illusion. We don't know what's real or what's fake anymore. All we know is what's real within us. And to know what's real within us is to know love for ourselves, pure in its rawest form, unconditional, and to show that and be that and let that be a domino effect for everybody else, okay? You guys be strong, protect yourself, protect your energy, protect your magic, protect your space. I love you. If no one has told you that today, I love you, I do. I really do. And I thank you guys for receiving my messages with love. And know that we're going to be okay as long as we continue to be the change in the world that we wish to see. Okay? Blessings.